Hey everyone, Miss Finality here. Before you walk away, assuming this is just another how to make money in Cyberpunk 2077 video, I would really appreciate that you stick around as I am 100% sure I'm going to go over some things that you will not have heard from those other videos and ensure that you have the most efficient progress with respect to making money in this game. The first issue, which I'm going to address in about one minute, just has to do with uh, CD Projekt Red and the fact that they did not give us the ability to lock our equipment equipment or weapons from being dismantleable or sellable in this case. Um, and even though uh, what ends up happening is a dialogue shows up when you try to get rid of, uh, say, an iconic weapon by selling it, um, that could easily uh, accidentally be uh, still skipped through as you're quickly selling these guns. We're going to set it up so that we basically don't have that problem at all and we can just keep pressing the button as we sell before we move on to the next location and sell. As one thing you may also not be aware of is that each of the terminals that you sell your weapons at can only account for 20,000 at a time and we're going to be doing about 100k per uh, every 10 to 15 minutes or so. That means we have to go to at least five different terminals, which means it can get really confusing as things jump around while you're trying to sell the weapons. All right, let's get straight into the video. In order to ensure that we don't accidentally dismantle or sell one of our important items, all we're going to do is just call one of our vehicles that we currently own, or if you do not have that, you can go to V's apartment uh, and you can use the stash there to stash all of your important weapons and uh, armor if you were going to do uh, armor as well. But it seems that uh, a particular weapon is the most efficient and as you level up the your crafting skill, it actually increases in amount that you can actually get from selling this particular weapon which we will be crafting through the method that we're going to be doing. Real quick, since I promise this is going to be the most efficient thing, I do have to say real quick, there is a piece of uh, body armor that can be crafted which is actually worth uh, slightly more than the weapon. However, the only problem is you would either have to essentially run around naked uh, as you would have to store all of your armor as well in order to do this just as efficiently as with the weapon. So this is your choice or uh, you just have to be careful not to get rid of the things because even your equipped stuff will show up in your inventory when you do this. That item in particular is called the Inner Flame Flame Resistant Rocker Jack, and it currently sells with where I'm at with crafting at $621 uh, dollars, or eddies in this case, uh, per uh, sell. Uh, whereas the other one that we're going to be actually doing on the video um, is the Nekomata uh, sniper rifle which currently sells for 585 so as you can see it's just slightly less than the rocker jack but you don't have to deal with that issue of also getting rid of all your armor so the other thing I should say real quick is that obviously armor is actually a lot lighter so you still might find the other method to be slightly more efficient just because when it comes to actually stopping your car or vehicle and uh, getting out to one of these terminals you might have to do the dodge dodge thing to, to move around quickly and get to the terminals. Another important thing that you will not have probably seen on the other videos about how to make money in this game is the actual location or best location currently in this game for doing so. I'm going to show you about four different locations around that particular area of the map and you're going to be able to choose from any of them or do all of them or whatever and like I said you'll be doing about 100k per every 10 to 15 minutes in the game. So that's really exciting so let's actually get to that point uh, on the map and I'll show you those uh, different locations so we can go through this method. So the most efficient area that you can head here is the Arasaka Tower and uh, this is at the city center basically right in the middle of the map so it makes it quite easy to actually get to and as you can see on the screen right now there are basically like four different locations in which you can find almost an infinite amount of vending machines for beverages which is the part of the method that we're doing here. The actual location was provided to me within my awesome Discord community, which I'll have a link for in the description of this video, as well as probably in the comments, um, by Phelan Ward-Kell, uh, a friend that I have through my Discord. 
So all you have to do is on these vending machines that are $10, you just choose one of the uh, options that are there. Uh, Cremanticore is one of them on one of them. There's the Nicola uh, drinks as well. Uh, Nicola Blue, I think, is another one. Um, and you can basically just choose any of them. I always just choose one of them um, because then it's like a lot more organized within your uh, backpack, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you can choose others. And uh, I do believe now, I haven't actually checked this as I'm making the video right now, but I think you can also stash things from your backpack. So you could probably just stash everything except for uh, these drinks and that would make it even easier. Once you're done with that and you've gone around and gotten quite a lot of these, all you have to do is actually dismantle them. And honestly, you're going to be getting hundreds of these in just a matter of minutes. So it, it's not long at all. And you'll see that you get common as well as uncommon crafting materials from this. Now I've done the math and you can do uh, the gray standard kind of common weapons with respect to the crafting, or you can do the ones that I've already mentioned, which are uh, obviously for the armor, the uh, inner flame flame resistant rocker jack, or the Nekomata uh, sniper rifle, which I would highly recommend you do, as I just think that's the easiest way to do it. The common crafting items really just aren't as efficient, so they really are a waste of your time. If you do calculations, you will actually see this. Real quick, I do want to mention that it seems like uh, there's two different kind of bugs that can happen here. The first is that sometimes when you're actually pressing them, you end up pressing it so fast trying to get the beverages out that the machine kind of breaks and you end up just continuing to spend money. I've spent a couple thousand just doing this, just sitting there watching as I'm no longer getting anything out. Obviously, once you've gotten the beverages, you just pick them up off the ground. But sometimes, as I said, it breaks and you're not able to pick up anything. Nothing is actually dropping and you're just wasting your money so don't do that and the other thing that I would mention is that I'm pretty sure I actually did this with one of the drinks and ended up breaking it which basically meant that I could no longer use it as it wouldn't let me dismantle it so when you're doing the dismantling just make sure you're doing it with like hundreds of them and just move it all the way across instead of like doing one at a time or anything like that uh, as it seems like that might be what causes that particular bug and I no longer can dismantle a particular uh, beverage right now so far as I know again I'm just now making the video and I'd have to go double check but last I checked I wasn't able to uh, dismantle this particular beverage if I ended up buying it. So now that we've gotten the bugs or the kind of problems out of the way, the rest of the method is really simple. All you have to do is now drive to the terminal locations and sell the items. And since we went ahead and stashed everything to make this as efficient as possible, we can just literally drive to each of the stashes, get really close to it off the road, and we won't have to really run or anything like that. So the weight limit thing won't even be an issue. And we can just sell all the guns by just pressing it real quick and not having to worry about anything that's in our inventory. And as as you can see from this, this method is very, very effective. As I said, it should take about 10 to 15 minutes per 100,000 that you do. You're going to end up spending about 30,000 if you're at the level that I'm at in terms of actually getting the beverages. But that is that kind of a profit from that. So you basically get 131,000 or so from that 30,000. And obviously, then you're getting a profit of somewhere between 99,000 and 101,000. Now, besides this method, the absolute best way to make money otherwise in Cyberpunk 2077 is simply by just doing missions and then picking up all of the items, weapons, etc., and then uh, dismantling them for the parts to craft other things to do a similar method of selling them or just selling the guns outright as you can get anywhere from 100 up to like 600 depending on some of the rarer weapons. Anyways, I really hope you guys liked the video. I hope this helped you out. I hope you're absolutely adoring Cyberpunk as I am. It is an absolutely terrific, wonderful game. I'll have a review out for it soon, and I'm just really excited for this. Also, guys, I have a Twitch, and I'm really active on it. I stream both Cyberpunk and Star Citizen several times a week, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys came out to that. Again, if this video helped you out, and especially if it was some new information that you weren't aware of with respect to making money, uh, in Cyberpunk 2077. I would really appreciate if you liked the video. Comment down below your problems or issues or if this worked out for you. Let people know that it did. Share the video everywhere and please subscribe to the channel for more Cyberpunk 2077 content from me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>